Welcome everyone. In this video we'll be talking about how you can use the customizer to edit the background of your bold grid theme. So in this video we're talking about changing the background image in your theme. This is important because the theme that you install after you go through the inspirations will likely already have a background image and it's going to be an example of the kind of image you can use but you may not want to use it going forward because you might want to choose something unique that's specific to your site and your content. So you can do this right from the customizer and I'll show you how we can get in there. Once you've logged into your WordPress admin menu just click on customize here. And you'll see I have an installation of the diced theme in my current Bolgrid Inspirations example site. So you see we have some food here and some cooking tools. Uh, you don't have to keep these of course but this is an example of the kind of image that you can put in. It's a large scale image and you'll see how it reacts with your site. Basically the site scrolls around it and you can control that too. Um, and how you can do that is right from the customizer here under the, the background menu. So just click on background when you're ready. You'll see the image is already selected here. So all you have to do to switch it out is click change image. And you'll see we have some images here that we can choose from but of course if you want to upload your own image which I suggest you do you can just click the upload files button here on the top left and you can drag your own large-scale image here. You see it suggests an image dimensions of one, uh, 1920 by 1080 uh, and that may change depending on the theme but that's a good example of an image resolution you should shoot for. From our media library here I have some images that are roughly approximated to that size. And, uh, this one should do well. So once you've selected your image just click the select button on the bottom right and you'll see you can crop it. This is recommended uh, depending on your theme uh, so that it'll display uh, appropriately uh, but you have some choice here or you can just skip the cropping but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to extend this a little bit on the top and bottom because we'll want to scroll with it and then click crop image So now you see that has replaced the uh, the kitchen scene we were looking at before with this picture that looks like a desk here. And what I suggest you do once you have your image in here, just to help you decide how you want it to interact with the page, you can play with the, the background effects here. You see there's parallax, scroll, and fixed. Right now it's set to fixed, so it's just staying in a fixed position. But you see if I choose parallax, it moves slightly with the background and that has a, an interesting effect, an interesting motion effect. If I choose scroll, it will scroll with the site. What you see is it's, it's still in a fixed position, but it's not like the fixed position before where the foreground elements were moving in front of it. That's so why I, I suggest you go through those and see which one you prefer. And uh, the size options basically decide um, your, your scaling. So right now it, it covers the page, but if you do scale to fit, which is a different option, you see it was scaled down, but we have some extra room on the side here, which um, unless your image was much bigger, uh, you know, wouldn't look good in this case. Full width fills the, the horizontal space. And you can actually manually control here beneath the, uh, the different scaling options the horizontal position and the vertical position. Uh, you see the image we chose already um, goes the, the full width of the page, but you can use the slider to adjust that left and right. But you see we have this white space here, so I don't think that looks as good, so I'm just going to leave it at the default uh, for the horizontal position. But vertical is interesting because you can slide this left and right and move the image up and down. 
but you see now I've got some white space on the top, so I'm going to close that up. But you'll see here how you can really get around here and uh, play with this and kind of see where you want your images to lay. And you also have some options here to repeat the image, and uh, this is kind of old school here, and I'll, I'll show you what we, what we mean by that. You can click uh, to change the image. I'm going to get a smaller image in here. See, so we have this picture of the guy here with the glasses. I'm going to select that one. And I did a, a full crop here. And you see it, it filled the whole screen automatically, but we can set the size to do not resize. And we'll see it shrunk it down. And if I click Tile, you'll see it repeats, which gives us a different kind of look. And you see you still have all the same scrolling options here. That's Parallax. Scroll goes with the scrolling. And Fixed stays in the background. And uh, again, under the background, Repeat, you can choose it whether you want to tile this horizontally and vertically, or just horizontally, which cuts out the, um, the the vertical tiling, or just vertical. But uh, you'll see how you can get in there and um, and really get some different looks, customizing different images and different backgrounds. And if you choose not to have a background image, you can also use patterns and colors. To check out the patterns, just click on the Pattern and Color button here on the Customizer on the left. And you see you can click through here on different patterns. And see if there's one that you like. And you can also add color to it. It doesn't have to be black and white. If you click on the Background Color button up here, you can try out different colors and you can adjust the transparency with this slider on the right and also adjust the saturation and you see you have a lot of different patterns to choose from some of the patterns are very fine and some of them are a little bigger and you can choose whichever one works best for you. And of course, when you've got something that you like, make sure to click Save and Publish on the top left here. And that's how you can edit the background in your Bold Grid theme. Now stay tuned for more tutorials in the Customizer series, and if you have any questions or comments, definitely let us know here in the Support Center. Thanks for watching.